What's going on, YouTubers? Down South Gaming is the channel. DSG Drift is your host. Excuse my voice. I'm having a little problem with my voice today. So, anyways, we're bringing you another video review. This time we are bringing you the 80 Years Marvel Legends, the Punisher War Machine. Now, I dropped the Giant Man video yesterday. Today is September 26, 2019. This will be uploaded September 27th. So, I brought you the Giant Man video, and I mentioned seeing this guy at GameStop. Now, my GameStop is awesome. They don't mind holding a figure for me if they have multiples of them. So, they had a few of this guy. I haven't even seen a promotional picture of this action figure so when i saw it i was blown away i missed out on the civil war wave i was not collecting marvel legends at the time so i'm not missing out on this guy i would love to get the original mold it looks like it is the civil war mold because of the weapons i don't have that war machine so i can't tell you exactly if it's just a repaint or it might be a retool I don't know. We'll have to check it out. If you have that figure, let me know in the comments. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into the box. As you see, it's Marvel Legends. At the top, it has the Punisher logo. Has the Punisher in front of War Machine. So this is Frank Castle in the War Machine armor. It's got some beautiful artwork on the side. That is an amazing job. I love that artwork. Let's check out the back. Look at that picture. That is awesome. That is super awesome. It says, After the fall of War Machine, Frank Castle acquires the highly weaponized armor and makes it his own. So this is Frank Castle in the War Machine armor. Now I saw, I was looking for a picture of this online and I could not find it, but I did see the comic book series that this goes with. So this is pulled out of the comics, but this is awesome. The reason why I say it's the Civil War War Machine is because of the accessories it comes with. From what I know of the promotional pictures, this was the Civil... I don't know if these two are, but I know this is. And I'm pretty positive that this is from the Civil War um, line. So that's the box. We're going to go ahead and get this guy opened up and bring him to you. I cannot wait to put my hands on this guy and see how awesome he is. So, anyways, one quick thing. I did a shout-out last video, and I messed up one special person's name. And he comments a lot to me, and we talk back and forth. So, DriftyBoy23, I want to give you a big shout-out, okay? This is a major shout out. You're the only person getting one in this video. So Drifty Boy 23, this is for you. Please stay tuned for more and we're going to get this guy opened up. Okay guys, here he is out of the package and let me tell you, this video is not going to do this figure justice with the amount of paint detail that they did on this guy. He has a little wash on him, on his knees, on his shoulders. A little bit of dirt on the skull and it's just it's so cool how they painted this one he's got some on his boots on his legs it's it's just it's really cool the amount of paint that they went into this guy he's got all the skulls on him for all the uh, executions he's done so let's get into the accessories real quick and then we'll get into the articulation so for the accessories, he comes with the two open hands that he has, and he comes with two closed fists. He comes with the, I guess you would say, non-active um, baton that he tries to hit Cap with, and here is the active baton. So that's that comes with that. You've got one that goes into the armor, and then... As he pulls it out, you know it activates and it, it springs out in the movie. And so there you've got the spring-loaded baton. And then you have the minigun that would be standing straight up. So we'll go ahead and swap. The, well, let's just talk about this one first. You've got the baton right here. It just sticks in. doesn't do anything. 
And then you've got the minigun. It sticks in, it rotates, it goes up and down, and it rotates side to side. So that's really cool. And you can't alternate those because the minigun has a certain size square and the baton has a certain size square. So you know those go on those sides. And then he also comes with these two, it's like two pistols on his side, but they pull off. They pull off and they open up. I'm not sure, I guess that would be the magazine. Let's see if we can focus in on that. Is it gonna focus on it? Nope, not gonna focus in on it. There we go, a little bit. You can see the detail on it. Really cool. And they also clip onto the side of his legs in the holster. But then they also clip underneath the forearm to go like so, so he can be blasting you underneath. Okay, so those are that. And then we'll get into the other accessories. We'll go ahead and pull the baton out, show you that. It's all closed up. The minigun, we'll go ahead and pull that out, show you that. And here's the two different squares. See, one is slightly bigger than the other. So that's how you know that's where it is. So we can put the, the minigun like it's being put up into there. And we can put the baton into his hand. But the way it's supposed to be, or both of them are supposed to be put up. So here would be War Machine or Punisher in non-combat mode. Well, with the baton out of his hand. That would be him in the non-combat mode right there. So let's go ahead and pull the hands off and see what those do. And then we'll get into articulation. Let's see how hard this is to pull the hand off. Uh, a little bit hard, as you saw the saw that. It's got a pretty good amount, but that was also the first time that I pulled it out. So, there we go. Anyways, we'll go ahead and get into the articulation of this guy. And then we'll go over some other things on him. We'll maybe look at a little bit of the detail. See what we got going on with him. Okay, so for the head. He's not going to go too far back forward good looking down can't rotate all the way the arms got good good height right there and see these are the little things like to pop off already and I haven't even messed with them too much but there's slots right here into the leg and there's a slot on the side and those slot into the leg. I, I'm pretty sure that would be something new with this mold. I don't remember seeing that on the old War Machine Civil War one. So let's get back into the arm. That's as high up as it goes. It's not going to rotate around. You have the shoulder pad. Shoulder pad is into the torso. It's not on the arm. And that's as high up as you're going to get. It has the bicep swivel, has the double jointed knee, I mean the double jointed elbow. That's high up as that's gonna go on the joint. The torso, see it popped off again. These things just kind of pop off. So anyways, well we're just gonna take those off so they don't keep popping off. And we'll just take off all the accessories, how about that? Okay. Back to the torso, let's see the back. Not too well. The front, a little bit, pretty good. It's got a little bit there. A little bit of side to side. Also the head, let's see. Yeah, he has a little bit of side to side. 
no waist swivel at all. The legs, let's see what he's going to do on the splits. And guys, I, I think that's it. I think that's all we're going to get. Yeah, that's, that's it. That's all we're going to get out of this guy. With the splits, yeah, I'm kind of pressing hard there. I don't want to damage anything. So, thigh swivel, double jointed knee. Not bad for the knee. The foot, oh, wow. Okay, just shot that off. Let's set him back down and pick that up. Obviously, you see that the foot blew off as I tried to push it down, which that's a first. Well, at least we get to see how the foot is on there. Okay, so it does have a double ball joint, kind of banana style. That's just going to go back into the foot. So, guys, don't, don't try to bend the foot too much. That's about as much as you're going to get. It seems like I kind of made it a little loose now, which we can tighten that up with a little bit of super glue because it's all the way in there so it's got this little now that i see how it's put together it's got this little rocking forward motion but it's not going to bend too much i mean you're not you're not going to get much out of these feet at all that's because he's got a lot of armor anyways let's go ahead and look at some of the detail in this guy let's check out the face mold very nice. Doesn't really resemble a skull to me. I don't I don't know if this is a retool on the face. Let me know guys if you have this war machine. But see if you can see real closely there's like a little brown mark right there to kind of resemble a little dirt, I guess. Take a look good look at the skull on the chest check out the skulls on his shoulder you see the wash he's got wash on his arms let's check out the back he's got some wash on the back so he's been through a battle got some wash on his shins i mean his calves now he's got some on his shins some on his feet on his kneecaps so guys this guy is just really cool looking i i, I will give you that uh, let's go ahead and get into the arm the hands Forward bend, not so much back because of this plate he has here, which it looks like uh, the design is that this would slide in and out, but this doesn't do it. So that's pretty cool. That's like a, like a knuckle guard right there to help break faces for Punisher. So this, this is really cool. This is part of the 80 years Marvel line, which that's awesome. And this is... I guess it would be Mark 000, which I don't know if that's significant with Punisher. I'm not a big Punisher fan. Don't know much about Frank Castle. I just know Frank Castle is the Punisher. So let's go ahead and load this guy out and get him all decked out in his guns with the baton in his hand, with his two little mini Uzis in his arms. And we'll show you what this guy looks like. All decked out with his weapons ready to roll and ready to fight yeah those things just kind of pop off easily very easily. So Punisher's ready to take you out with the Uzi. And the baton. And the other Uzi. <clears throat> and the mini Gatlin if you really want to bring the drama. The trouble. So guys, anyways, <clears throat> that is the War Machine Punisher. Sorry, I don't know much about the Punisher. 
uh, <clears throat> new mold to me, so sorry if this review is a little sketchy. Anyways, if you made it this far into the video, please hit that like button and please hit that subscribe button if you're new. We are just a little bit further away from the goal that I wanted to make this month. We've got about five days left in the month, so please, guys, please tell your friends about the channel. And let's go ahead and at least, uh, I don't want to shorten the goal because I always want to aim high. So we'll just see how close we get to the goal, which the goal is 120 by the end of September, which will be next week. So please help me out with that. Please show me some support. Leave me some comments. Let's talk about it. I'll give a, you guys a shout out. But one more time, the special shout out on this video is Drifty Boy 23 I said Drift Boy 23 last video, but I want to correct that because we talk a lot. And so Drifty Boy 23 this is your video. This is your special shout out. So tell your friends about the video. Tell them to subscribe to the channel. This is the brand new mold from Marvel. We got the brand new Giant Man in the back. Marvel is doing some great things right now. I've been really caught up in Fortnite because Jazzware was dropping so many things that I kind of let the Marvel put on the back burner but with these cool figures that they got coming out i know people are finding the end game wave spoilers ahead if you haven't seen it if you haven't seen it by now you're not a marvel fan or you've just been locked in a closet but you've got fat thor oh giant man is taking them all out anyways You've got Fat Thor as the Build-A-Figure. You've got Tony's last suit. You've got Valkyrie. You've got Heimdall. You've got Vision. And you got War Machine, which is the movie accurate to this mold. So I can't wait to find that line. I've already got Tony and Vision pre-ordered at GameStop. Big shout out to GameStop. Big shout out to everybody who has made it this far into the video. So anyways, we're just going to go ahead and end it here. So please stay tuned for more videos. Let me know how you like this video. Hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. Down South Gaming is the channel. DSG Drift is your host. So please stay tuned for more videos and you guys have a great weekend.